This is the video I thought I would never have to make. Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then as always, welcome back. Thank you so much for the comments that you leave for me, for the thumbs up, you subscribing to my channel, as well as hitting, hitting I kind of lost for words today, as well as hitting the notification bell so you know when the next video is available. I am standing in the parking lot of Peel Regional 11th Division right here in Mississauga, Ironmost Parkway and Dundas Street because somebody hit my car. I was there, I have a recording of it which I'll be sharing with you shortly and again it's not for the faint of heart, it contains upsetting scenes particularly for me. I'll show you what's happened to the car as well but as a classic car lover, and I'm sure there's so many of you out there that appreciate it, we are so careful with our cars. Even the way we park them is so far away from anybody else. And I always called it the DFZ, the ding free zone. I park it at an angle. I park it further away than I need to because I'm always concerned that somebody's going to hit my car. The way we drive our cars, we're always careful. We drive it like motorcycles, as though nobody sees us. And we're always thinking about the road ahead and planning for certain things to potentially go wrong. This happened literally in front of my eyes. I witnessed it, um, and you'll see it in the video as well. So again, it's never the video I wanted to make or share, but it's here. And um, I don't know the extent of the damage. This is really just, at this point, I've just reported everything officially to the police. I'm hoping the insurance uh, company, Haggerty Insurance, if you're listening, um, understands my predicament, my love for this car, and hopefully we can get it resolved uh, properly. Um, that will make me smile again. So until then, without further ado, hop in, let's go for a drive. And let's check out a bit of a strange video, but it's life and it's there. Okay, so let's take a look at it more closely. So as you can see, if I'm a little bit further back, you really notice it right there. And this is this whole plastic cover is obviously broken. So that's easy to, well, it, at least that can be replaced. But it's this part that troubles me the most. And the other thing that I notice is that obviously the bumper has been pushed in. There is no gap here. It's very flush with this side. Yet on this side, there is a gap. So it looks like the... The left side, as I look at it, has been pushed in. The other thing that I notice as well is that my trunk lid is lifted again. So that used to be flush if I compare it to this side. Yeah, see? Oh my gosh. What the heck? Unbelievable. Hey, but those of you with uh, good eyesight may have noticed that I put my front license plate on because, hey, I am in front of a, a police station after all, and I'd hate to get a, a ticket for not displaying that. So, long and the short of it is, here it is, here's the damage. Um, as I say, right now, it's all being looked through. I contacted Haggerty Insurance, and they were so good. Um, it's a, uh, I'm just now waiting for them to contact me back and get uh, somebody to come in and take a look at it. and. Um, see what we do next to try and get it all fixed hopefully she'll be back up and running but I'm, I'm a bit concerned about this particularly the way it's been pushed in as well and uh, you can see that it's, it's bulging out here uh, if you look at it from that perspective compared to to this side where it's nice and tight and flush and the lines look good because over here obviously they don't but what can we do? Ah, oh boy, oh boy. I'll tell you, this happened yesterday and I did not sleep. 
Anyhow, as I said at the... Uh, I don't know what you're saying. Ah, okay. I tell you, you look at Charmi. Why? Sorry? You take my video. Have you seen this? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, I want. I come here. I come, okay, because I don't see your car. Yes, you I didn't see, see my I car, but look at the damage. Yes, okay, okay. No, but you don't understand. This is a classic car, it's okay. an antique. Yes, it is very small. What do you mean very small? Look at the damage. No, no, no. I know the damage. I know the damage. I know. I know. I, I tell you the car is very small for me when I don't see. Okay? Just one second. I call my husband. Sure. My husband yeah. Is Doesn't matter. Okay? You can call whoever you want to. Okay, so getting back to uh, the story, um, so this back and forth went on with the lady for about an hour. Her husband never did show up. Um, and hence I ended up reporting to the police, which is the video that you saw at the onset. However, I realized too that in, you know, it could have been a lot worse. Nobody was injured, thankfully, and it certainly pales in comparison to the accident that happened not that long ago to a beautiful 1948 Mercury that was owned by Gerald. It's a Ron Box creation. It's video number 76 if you haven't seen it, and I'll put a link to that as well. But where two of Ron's cars were damaged in this freak accident in in, uh, in a Georgetown car meet, which is obviously terrible and hopefully, again, nobody was injured and the cars will get fixed. Um, so I do recognize that the damage to my car was minor in comparison, but it just kind of annoyed me then. I think what pissed me off the most was the fact that the lady didn't have the decency to apologize for the damage that was done. Had she done that, I would have maybe not just felt as bad. Anyway, I reported to the police the right thing to do. Uh, during the next few weeks, actually, I did a little bit of research as to where can I take my car. And I asked a lot of the uh, car you know, club members to see where can I take the car that would do a great job. I found this place. It's called Phoenix Auto Body up in Brampton. I met a gentleman by the name of Rob Tavares. He's the owner. And here's a short video of my initial uh, meeting with Rob. All right, Rob. I am here. Where's the big sign there? Phoenix Custom Auto. I like your shirt, by the way. Turn around. <laughs> this is priceless right there. <laughs> it is so true, right? I don't want to be here either, but well, yeah. but here I yeah, am. Yeah, we're, we're like the doctors that you got it. nobody wants to see. So here, this is what we had talked about. So here's the damage. Yeah. As you can see, the lens is cracked, but I have a replacement for the lens anyway. So both are in the back because I figure I'm going to change it. I'm going to change both anyway. Yeah. So basically, Get that out, make make her pretty again. Yeah, so and then that little indentation again when it was a bit pushed in. Yeah. So we're uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take out. Hi, I'm Ro sorry, I'm Rob from <laughs> Phoenix Auto Body. Uh, what we're gonna do is remove the lens and replace it, of course. Take off these moldings, take off these lights and the bumpers, so it just makes it a better job. And then get this all this stretch out so we can pull it out and get it all. Nicely, uh, um, nicely st uh, stretched out because it's the metal stretched here. So now we have to do a, a repair here and paint the quarter panel. But in the, in the body world, a lot of people don't like taking off panels because right. they like mass. It just it's just more work to do. But we like to take everything off because it just makes a better job for us and for the customer. Because we like to treat the the customers' cars like they're ours. I love what you said just there because it's true. It's, it's a part of me. I'm leaving her behind in your capable hands, but it's, it is a bit worrisome because it's like your, your little baby and uh, all of a sudden yeah, it's, of uh, yeah, there it's, she uh, is. But, um, but uh, everybody's car should be treated like, like it's hers, right? I because at that. the end of the day, yes. you, know, it's, you know, it's your investment and you like, you like your car. So. I agree. And in terms of the bump here, do you think that will pop out? Like when I look at this, like the actual metal is so sturdy. It's not like yeah, modern day cars where yeah, yeah. they pop. Do you think it will, or do you think that uh, might be a challenge? Well, what we can do too is we can call a, a dent guy. We got a dent specialist that comes here to the shop. Okay. And what he can do is massage this out. Okay. So it's a paint. It's called the paintless re uh, repair. Right. So he would come here and just massage it out, and then we can just polish it. Okay. Just so you don't got to get into paint because. 
the the better uh, it's always better to stay original as original as you can yes okay we try to do sometimes they say less is better and it's true and the other big fear obviously is trying to match the paint but you figure red is it's not that no we got a scanner it's probably about 95 to 98 percent accurate is that right and then you just kind of play with the yeah and then we do a spray out card and we uh we compare it to the body of the body we check it, it's good, yeah. we're ready to go. I told you how we, how obviously when I talked to you, but on my way home, I met some random guy in a beautiful old car and he's telling me that, and I'm describing the damage and everything. Oh yeah, I know the guy you should go to. He's out in Brampton and it happened to be you guys. So there yeah. you go, it's just meant to be. So how big's your shop though? It's about uh, 4,000 square feet. And you've been here for how long though? Uh, we've been here in business for about 22 years. Wow. Yeah. How'd you get into the car business? Oh, just me and my partner, Paul, we, uh, we started from school, from W.J. Fenton. We started, we liked cars, we liked working on them, and we took our course, went to school. I'm a licensed body man, as well as my uh, partner, Paul D'Souza. And we've been doing this, yeah, since we were kids, probably since I was 13. Wow, so Turner Fenton is literally up the road, so you've like been in Brampton all yeah. your life. Oh, I was. I'm a Brampton boy. Oh, good for you. Yeah. That's amazing. Can we take a look at your shop? Sure. All right. So you've always been at this location, Rob? No, we were, we've been at this location since 2006. Okay. We were down the street in 63 uh, Eastern Avenue, uh, 2002 to 2006, and now we're here okay. from 2006 to present. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. And who's this fine young lady back there? Oh, that's my assistant, Pam. Pam, how are you, my dear? Nice to meet you. So she makes sure you stay on track. Yes, yes. Okay. She keeps me in the in All right. Yeah. She keeps me in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like we said, there's all our awards. We've, been, we've won since 2004 straight. We haven't... Uh... Hey, Rob, that's, that's pretty impressive right there. Yeah. Good God, man. We are a very busy body shop. It's only because our quality is... And cool. it sounds like you take pride in what you do. Um, and it's so important. Like, you know, when we do leave our cars behind, you want to make sure it's taken care of properly. And uh, you got to trust the person you leave it with. Yeah, and, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I appreciate that. Yeah. You, you get that sort of warm... At the end of the day, um, if you get a bad review or somebody... somebody uh, you know, talks bad about your business, that's, that goes farther than good reviews. So that's why we're always trying to make sure that we're, uh, yeah. we are uh, making the, the cars looking nice and we make sure they're all clean before they leave because a lot of body shops don't clean their cars. So okay. we clean them in and out and we uh, give them to the car owners nice and clean. Awesome. That's amazing. Okay, that's great. Are we able to go in or? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Can you show me? So who's your partner here, though? That's Paul, my partner. Oh, that's Paul, here. okay. My partner wants to say hi. Uh, it's going to be on a Paul. Hello, Paul. Partner, Paul. How are you doing? So he got the good looks then? Yeah, he All got right, the fine. good looks. I got <laughs> stuck. I just got so stuck with the legs. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a lot of cars here coming and going all the time. Yeah, oh yeah. And that's your paint booth there? That's our paint booth there. So is that like a custom built, like when you do, like how, how did you actually get this part? Well, when we came to the shop, it was there an existing body shop. We, All just, right. we just cleaned everything up, painted the doors, and that's the shops. So basically that's a bumper taken off and painted. That's a three-stage paint shop. Wow. So what we're gonna do is paint it and then install it on the customer's car. It just makes it a nicer job and, and it cuts on the rentals, right? Right on. The lights you have in there, is that designed to replicate yeah. like natural uh, they're, light? Uh, it's all LED lights, but it's right to replicate the sun. And we have a sun gun and all that. Amazing. Wow, okay. And you got a bunch of cars here, and you got a little spot for mine, hopefully. Yes, we have a spot here for right you. Right there, okay. Yeah. So how many guys do you have working for you? Uh, it's, well, in total, it's nine people. That's amazing. This is a huge facility, though. Man, we have, and that's, this is the, uh, this is the paint room here. This is where we paint. This is where we mix our paints. This is where the chemistry is done. At oh, this Phoenix is where the Auto magic Body. happens, as they say? Yeah. Wow. That's all the paints. That's our computers. And after we paint the car, after the car's baked, we bake all our cars. It comes out here and it, for drying. Oh and then when it's finished, outside. Wow. And that's some of the cars that we work in the back. 
So these are some of the things that have yeah. been uh, oh, we're okay. Waiting, yeah. <laughs> for that truck. So you work on every type of car. Every like, type of car. Do you specialize in like classics, custom cars? Oh, we cars? do a lot of classic cars yeah. too. We do a lot, most of our work is is insurance too, right? So okay. We do a lot of insurance work. Yeah. So. It was funny because again, everybody does look at the reviews and that, and you had such outstanding reviews. It's like I got to check this place out. Yeah. So you know what? It works. So. Well, I'll tell you that we're because we're owner operators. We take pride in what we do. Awesome. We make sure everybody's car is done. Okay. All right. That's great, Rob. Thank you so much. No I look problem. forward You're to welcome. it, and hopefully when I get it back, she'll look well, yeah, you'll just see, like you. You'll see Rob the end really result. felt comfortable okay. that he could Got fix the car, and I felt comfortable leaving the car with him. He told me it would take about four days to do, and sure enough, four days later, I get a call um, to say, yep, your car is done. Come and pick it up. It was on time. It was on budget. So I went, took a look at the car. I was impressed, and here's a video of the after. He's on film. Oh my God, Rob. Yeah, it's incredible how that stuff disappears. Where did it even start and end? Hey, I like how you rounded it now. Yeah, we rounded it off. So it's originally, like you said, there's a, there's a, supposed to be a line here from yeah. factory because there was prior work done on the right side, so we just replicated the right side. Man, oh man, oh man. But see, we blended it here so we wouldn't get rid of your sticker. Yep. Of course, the proper way is taking everything off, right. removing the sticker and painting the whole quarter panel complete. Right. But Wow. It actually looks pretty good and we blended it here. We didn't want to bring too much here because there's prior. You can't so tell. There's a little cracks there. Yeah, trips, true. But we touched true. up whatever we could. And the same here. Like yeah, yeah. See, see, like the, the guy, that was, he was scared to pull it because yeah. it would start to crack. Because this is a very, the gauge is very, it's a thicker gauge. Well, what than, gauge do you reckon it is compared to modern day cars? Oh, like it's, it's probably about, thick. yeah, it, it, it's a lot thicker. Like 8 gauge, 10 gauge, something like that? Yeah, it's like probably that, about even? a 10 gauge. And now it's about, we got about like a 4 gauge now. I'm having a tough time telling. Oh, yeah, you won't tell. Like, I can't even see how you've blended it almost. Yeah. Well, the color, so the repair is here. So this had primer here. Right. So you bring in, we scanned it. We brought color. We took all this off. This, this, the bumper came off. We blend color halfway in, and then the rest is clear coat, so you, you don't know, see I, a difference. I could have sworn, Rob, that no matter what you said, I'll be able to tell. But honestly, I, I can't. No, the color is, is perfect. With reds and solid colors, reds, whites, and dark colors, our scanner picks up. It's actually very impressive, don't you yeah. think, Nick? Yeah. Like seriously, like you can't uh, you tell. You can't tell. Are no. we able to mix up a little extra batch? Oh, we have some more paint oh, there. Wonderful. I forgot about. Oh, we got to take it, just the um, the glass jar in the back. Yeah, the glue and I'll container. Put a and uh, at least with the new lenses. Yeah, now, we put so the new matches. lenses in. Yeah. Good. The bumper when we took it off, I guess the prior person stripped it. Oh, did they? So we th we threaded it, put new bolts in it. So okay. now it's secure. Good to go. Wow, I'm impressed, Rob. Thank yeah. you. And like yeah. I said, we took everything off. So this way it's a nicer job. Because, totally. you know, most people would have, you know, taped up the bumper, you know, taped this stuff. But not, we like to take everything off. Yeah. I, uh, but no, truly, I, I'm impressed. This is uh, better than what I thought, actually. Yeah. And you can't tell. I can't. No. And I thought if, if anybody can. My eyes me, trained right? to see. You know, I can see little things, but I, it's, per, it's actually very good now. I'm impressed. Rob, what can I say? Thank you so much. No problem. You are You're the welcome. best. All right. Now I know why people rave so much about you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you, Rob. So as you can see, I think Rob and Phoenix did an amazing job on my car. I'm certainly thrilled with the workmanship that they have done. My car feels complete again, and I definitely will be using them in the future if I ever need to. Hopefully I don't. But anyhow, um, in order to celebrate, I took some footage made it into sort of a cinematic movie uh, of my MG in her glory. So please enjoy, and again, thank you for watching.